we have finally reached the last video in the 2021 Greenstock Pepper Harvest Series. This is part four, and so I will do this video just like I did the other three. I'll start here, show you what's growing, and walk through, explain some of the peppers, then I'll go back, harvest everything, and then I'll weigh them. My goal was to get 80 pounds of peppers this season. I usually get about 20 per planter. I exceeded my goal, so I'm real happy about that. And so let me go ahead and start showing you these peppers and we'll get started. So right here is a Thai red and it was a little bit late to ripen, but these are also really good green for like a green curry. So I've um, been popping those in a freezer bag, real easy to put those up. Um, down here is just a yellow bell. I didn't get many of those this year. This looks like it might have a little blemish on it. And then some shishitos down there at the very bottom, which have been ripening from a green to a red. Of course, a lot of bells which ripen from a green to a red. I've grown so many bell peppers this year, and I just, I'm really going to grow a lot more of those next year as well. Um, I'm growing a lot of poblanos too. Those have been pretty prolific for me. So I'm real impressed with the little poblano peppers. Now in the second planter, I have a lot of banana peppers and those ripen from like a green to a yellow to orange to red. So if you want to feel like you're growing a lot of peppers, make sure you're growing banana peppers because they have produced for me all season. And so here are some Thai red peppers, some more of those. These are some chocolate poblanos. So interesting little pepper for me this year. Not, don't think that I'll grow it again next year. Um, just growing all kinds of little uh, red peppers this year, the little Italian Frying peppers have been a delight. I don't know that I will grow those again next year either, however, because I uh, just really like the bell peppers. Just love them, and um, I get a lot of bang for my buck with the bell peppers, so we'll be growing a lot of those next year. Some of these Italian frying peppers had a thick skin on them, and then that requires me blistering them and taking the skin off, and it ends up being a little bit of work. So that's why I'm probably not going to grow as many of those next year. This is a Calabrian pepper, um, and it ended up being real, a really hot one. They have a, different kinds that they grow in Calabria, and that one um, ended up being hotter than I expected. So I don't know that I'll grow that one again either. Um, and then some Shishitos, which have ripened to red, though they're most popular at the green stage, and where they're blistered and served with some sauces. This is just another one of the Italian frying peppers. I think it's called Melrose. Um, one of the little um, uh, Hungarian sweet apples. And I, as you see here, I'm showing you the plant steak. And I've had to make sure that I'm keeping all of these pepper plants supported. So I'm just using those little plant steaks. And I tie my little jute string to it and keep these branches supported. And as soon as those peppers really start to come in, they're heavy and they will break your branches. So I've really had to be diligent and make sure that I'm tying and supporting all of these peppers. I've lost actually a couple of branches after a good storm. And um, the water, just a little bit more water weight on there, uh, broke a couple of my branches. So um, this last planter has a lot of the uh, bell peppers in it, the little Italian bell pepper. It's a red bell pepper. Delicious. I've been growing it for probably eight years now and just wonderful. So we'll go ahead and get started here and since we have some rain coming I am going to hurry up and get these harvested and then we'll start weighing.
this is what I ended up with from this harvest. So here we are at 475 for my first little bag. Remember, I weigh these by pounds and not pounds plus ounces. Second way is five, almost five and a half pounds. And almost three pounds on this one. So this will give us a total here for my September 21st harvest of just over 13 pounds. Okay, so now my second one. At this point in October, I have already started another planter full of spinach, lovely spinach, and I went over that with you guys in another video, how I grow that until next spring in early summer. Okay, and I'll leave a link for you if you missed it. Okay, so this is my second harvest of three. I will put this little greenhouse frame over here because I was thinking I might want to cover some of these pepper plants up. I moved around my planters a little bit. My last one had a lot of the bells in it. I moved it up here to the top because I was thinking I might want to extend the growing season for it. Ultimately, I did not end up covering these. So uh, I did use my green stock frost cover up on my deck with some of my other planters. I decided I had way more peppers than I knew what to do with so I decided I would not try to extend the growing season as I do every year with my planters. Anyway lots of red bells on that first planter. More poblanas coming in on this planter. So this is just about um, a little over two weeks from my last harvest so you can see how fast these peppers start ripening up. Now this one's called a pimento and it has a pretty good flavor. It is full of seeds though. And now in here is a little praying mantis egg sac. So maybe that will pop out next spring. I'll have to make sure that I put that somewhere in my garden. Um, I do believe uh, they come out in the spring. So here's some red bells here. Lovely red bells. All just all kind of peppers. Just really, really enjoy growing. Um, the peppers this year. Now, when I do this harvest, I will not um, show you guys me picking all these only because I had a knee injury. Um, I was moving my uh, chicken tractors around the yard and I ended up really injuring my left knee. So I am going to go through, pick a lot of these and then just weigh them. So I will show you how much they ended up weighing. I was just getting off of crutches here in this first week of October, so just so you know. And I'll just speed up the video a little bit here so you guys can see the peppers, but hopefully you won't get too bored. I got busy harvesting and I ended up with one big brown grocery bag full of peppers. So my first weigh-in was a little over three pounds and I had at least two or three more weighings to go. And I just put those right back in the bag after I weighed them. Now we're almost at five pounds for this one. Remember I told you those pimento peppers are full of seeds. They're real heavy, but there's not a lot of flesh in them. So I'm not sure that I will be growing the little pimentos again either. It may have just been that variety of a pimento. Um, I've grown pimentos before and they were really good. And let's go ahead and total everything up so we can see how much we have for our second harvest of part four and we're just over 12 pounds okay now it's october 27th a little bit sunny today and this will be my final harvest i will speed up this footage for you just a little bit and then we'll get busy harvesting as you can see here the plants have already had a little bit of a frost on them and you can tell because of the leaves. We haven't had a hard freeze at this point, but usually once those temperatures start dipping into the mid to high 30s, there can be a little bit of a frost build up. So it will damage the leaves when there's a frost. And I also cut off 
feeding them after my last harvest. So that was October 7th, and now we're, of course, October 27th. And so, um, just go through here, show you what I'm going to harvest. So this, since it's my final harvest, I am going to pick everything, even the banana peppers, if they're not even yellow yet. I'm picking pretty much everything off of the planters. So if it's not ripe, I'm still I'm picking it. And then, of course, those will be great for pickling or anything, really. This is for sure my biggest harvest ever. Um, obviously, if I lived somewhere, it was warm. I could have let these harvest and just probably all the way through November, December. As a matter of fact, I usually overwinter my peppers, as you, you guys probably already know. I'll put them in my garage and have them all the way almost through January. And sometimes I can bring them out the following year and they will continue to regrow, okay? So, but not this year. I grew way too many peppers. I have plenty in my freezer. I've been giving them away. I've been uh, pickling them, roasting them, grilling them. I've been doing everything. And as a matter of fact, I will um, upload a video, hopefully over the winter, to show you guys, or give you some ideas at least, of different ways that I use all of my peppers. I think they're a wonderful thing to grow. They're so versatile. They're so nutritious. chickens I let them out if I'm in the yard but they have found my planters to be quite tasty and I had to shoo them off they ate all of the spinach off of my bottom tier those rascals okay so um, 28 pounds for this one and so part four is a total of almost 54 pounds of pepper so really happy about this So this gives us a total of all of the series at over 106 pounds of peppers. I am just so impressed and I'm so glad that I met and exceeded my goal of 80 pounds of peppers, especially when you're looking at the cost of, of peppers. Everything's going up. So if I can just grow all bells next year, maybe some jalapenos mixed in there, I will be so happy. And obviously you can see the price uh, right now, a bell pepper is about $4 per pound if it's grown organically, and who knows what it's going to be next year. So I highly encourage all of you to get out there and start growing the easy way, start growing vertically, and you can follow a lot of my steps. Um, I have a lot of it, different videos. I have one that walks you through how to plant an entire green stock planter vertically, uh, just peppers, and that was my jalapeno growing video you can apply that to, to any pepper so hopefully you guys are out there and you're digging in your dirt and you're getting ready for next year and planning what you're going to grow too please let me know if you have any questions and I'll be more than happy to help you thank you so much for watching and y'all have a beautiful day